Hey YouTube people, okay, or anybody that isn't with YouTube that is just uh, discovering my channel. Um, I want to show you guys uh, something that I found today, and I'm also going to show you something that probably shocked the heck out of you. It's the rest of my clothing, uh, my vintage clothes. The only thing is that it's not everything. I have other stuff in the closet that I don't have room for. This particular room, I don't sleep in this room, so this room is where I keep my clothes and shoes and so forth. But anyway, I want to show you guys what I found today at the Goodwill. I found this really nice button-down shirt. Um, you guys can see it. Okay, I'll come up close. It's green and yellow and white. I've been doing a lot of yellow lately. I never used to wear a lot of yellow before. I even got on yellow earrings today. You know, I've had these like a long time. And a nice little necklace here that I really like. I won't say where the inspiration for that came from, but <laughs> I like it. Okay, so yeah, this is a little button-down shirt I found today. So, you know, I probably wind up wearing it with uh, a yellow um, pullover, which I think I have, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna show you the creme de la creme. I found this for $8.99 in the Goodwill, and it's a maxi denim coat. It's the second one that I own. So this one I'm going to decorate with patches or rhinestone patches or whatever. It's made from a stretchy denim material. So um, I have to tell you guys, when I tried it on, it didn't really fit me right away, but it's going to. And I'll show you the back of it. Here's the back of it here. Okay. And it's got these pockets also on either side. Okay, there. Okay, so she's quite a find, and I'm gonna figure out a way to decorate her, whether it be studs and patches, or I have a rhinestone afro that I could put on the back of it, which I don't know how much sense it'll make to do that, and then stud the rest of the jacket, but it's gonna be cool when I'm done. And I'm gonna show you guys these shoes. I gotta bend down to get them. Okay, I ordered these short go-go boots today and uh, they hurt my feet really bad. <laughs> I don't know why, the undersides of my feet are like killing me right now, but this is what the boot looks like. It's just a little patent leather boot. I already scuffed it once today wearing it because I'm slew footed, so can't get around that. But um, yeah, I got it from Amazon, $30. And it only took a couple days to get here, day, or day and a half, two days. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna show you guys is some of my clothes and how I have to stack them to keep them neat. Uh, everything in here is not neat, but don't be surprised at what you see. But uh, a lot of it is vintage, a lot of it is my pants, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys, you'll see. Okay, here's where we get started. Here are a lot of my sweaters, okay? Some of them are not new. Uh, a lot of them are vintage. Here is my blouses. See, I've got everything folded where things used to be hung up, but I just don't have the room anymore in my closets. And that's the shirt that I just showed you guys. These are like lace shirts and blouses and things like that. And you can see on this side how I have things stacked up. It's hard to get dressed, I'll tell you right now, when everything is folded, but it's all the choice I have because I've been shopping for, like I said, a long, long time. Those are like my skirts. That's just the top I put on top. But those are some skirts. Those are just the skirts that are there. And then I have more uh, stacked all the way down, but my blouses are in the way so you can't see them. Okay, there's a lot of skirts there, but there's more down below underneath them. There's over 60 skirts there all together if I were to show them all to you. Okay, I'm gonna move my wig out of the way and my dress out of the way and my poncho out of the way. These are the pants that I think I mentioned to you guys when I said I have more bell bottoms than I know what to do with. Okay, most of these pants are bell bottoms. Some of them are vintage. Some are 70s inspired. 
Here's some more. See, there's there's a whole stack even underneath this, and those are those are gauchos that I found yesterday. Um, they're gonna look really big if I spread them out. If you guys wanna hold on just a second, I will show. Okay, they look really large, as everything in this video tends to do, but they're not. And <clears throat> I just found them yesterday. These over here were some Donna Karan really short bell-bottom pants that, let's see, I'll do it like this. They're very old. They're like from 1992. Donna Karan was real popular in the 90s. But these were what I call my comic strip pants. I've only worn them like a couple of times, but that's them. And I also wound up buying a top that matched them. Okay, and here are some more. See, you guys, this could take a long time if I really wanted to show all of you everything. Okay, I'm getting too These close. These are some fake suede bell bottoms that I made several years ago and I put you know I put uh, feathers and stuff on them they didn't come like that they were just regular pants at the time but I put the feathers as you guys can see on there and now my camera is out of focus okay and uh, yeah okay I'm trying to focus it now okay so um, when I see if you guys look at this stack of pants I have here Okay, you can't even see them all, it goes all the way down. I have that, anything you can't see, there's another stack. This stack is just like that, this one right here. And that stack on top is just like that as well. Okay, I've been shopping since, since the 90s. That's why I was telling you guys that I know about the whole vintage thing. It's not new to me at all. Okay, these are some more vintage pants. Uh, I bought them because they're hound's tooth or whatever that that fabric is, and they have this nice pockets on the front. So I haven't worn them yet, but I'm gonna. And that's what they look like. They're not really bell bottoms, but that that uh, that style is worth paying attention to. So I paid attention to it. Okay, and hopefully you guys, I'm not getting too close. Okay, and. Okay, that's a dress that I've worn before. It's a long maxi 70s dress. Okay, and then here is my velvet, another pair of velvet bell bottoms that I have, and they're patchwork. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys an idea. When I said that I had a lot of stuff, I wasn't kidding. And um, I got enough to fill a small store to tell you the truth and and this isn't everything this is just what I allow myself to get my hands on because my closet is full okay and then there's some more pants there and I put the feathers and I put the beads on there but I didn't make the pants I wish I had made them I do have a sewing machine and I don't know how to use it yet okay and one last thing I wanted to show y'all is this really nice vest Okay, I have worn it with the pants that match it. That's another vest. Okay, that's vintage. All right. And one more thingy. I just tried to straighten everything up last night, so I like to think I did a decent job. All right, this is a suede skirt. I thought it was going to fit me when I got it, and it didn't, so I'm waiting for it to fit me. But this is a suede light blue um, patchwork suede skirt okay you guys can see that all right and one more thing i did get carried away here and this is my i do wear this not a lot though but this is a crocheted skirt that i found at the goodwill years ago see some people don't know the value of what they have so it was in very good condition and that's it right there so a couple times I have taken pictures in that and uh, and I've worn it okay it just has a tendency to make you look like really big if you're not and uh, I'm not all about that life at all I'm 5'2 115 pounds and I should be 5'2 between 95 and 100 pounds and I have been so that's where I need to get back to and that's the dress I was telling you guys about 
Okay, like I said, this is a bed, but I don't sleep in it. So, in this room, so, yeah. And that's my little curly, fuzzy Afro wig. You guys don't care about her. Me neither. All right, so, I hope I was able to show you guys how expansive my collection is, and I seem to be adding to it every day, and I certainly don't need to, because I am also running out of room. And like I said, the, that's not all the skirts, that's just the fact that I've got them folded. I have twice as many skirts as I have pants, but my pants are around 100 and something, maybe 200. One time I checked it was 300 and I started giving some away, and that was in 98. Okay, I've done, I've done that since. All right. All right, so um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, and let's end this.